بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students, today we are going to discuss another method uh, for olefination that is creation of carbon-carbon double bond which is known as sharpless olefination. Basically this method is uh, olefination from alkyl halides. Uh, so we will discuss in detail the key concepts of uh, today's lecture is the introduction to sharpless olefination reaction the introduction to the modification to this uh, olefination reaction which was made by Greco and uh, then the detailed discussion of the different reacting species the oxidizing agents used during this reaction and the solvents applied and uh, in the end the overall mechanism of the reaction is discussed here uh, sharpless olefination reaction is basically the formation of alkenes from alkyl halides through the formation of selenoxide. oxide the alkyl halide should contain alkyl group or R alkyl group uh, not aryl groups you know alkyl group like ethyl propyl etc and the r alkyl group mean aromatic ring or aryl ring is attached to alkyl group and that is attached to the halo group the, the, this group is known as r alkyl group so r alkyl group r alkyl group should be present in the alkyl halides for the formation of alkene and another condition for this alkyl or R alkyl group of the alkyl halide is that it should bear a beta hydrogen because uh, in the last step of this uh, reaction there is elimination reaction uh, due to this elimination alkene is formed and that elimination require the presence of a beta hydrogen in the alkyl or R alkyl group so overall this uh, method is the way of formation of olefins from alkyl or R alkyl halides uh, here you can see the general uh, reaction gen of this uh, sharpless olefination method that alkyl halides are treated with aryl selenide anion this anion is uh, uh, prepared from selenocyanates and uh, then this anion reacts with alkyl halides to form selenides these selenides are oxidized in the presence of hydrogen peroxide in tetrahydrofuran as a solvent and we get the alkene the modification to this short plus olefination was given by Greco uh, in this modification the starting material was used uh, alcohol instead of uh, alkyl halides and also this uh, change of the reacting species uh, reduce the number of steps of this reaction uh, in the basic uh, sharpless olefination uh, reaction we have to apply in first step uh, the, the conversion of selenocyanate into selenide anion and then with the reaction with alkyl halide to form selenide but uh, here alcohol is treated with uh, directly with the selenocyanates and in the presence of uh, trialkyl phosphine like tributyl phosphine and uh, thf as a solvent and we get selenide that is in one step we uh, uh, get the selenide which is obtained in two steps in the case of sharpless olefination reaction and the uh, second is the uh, remaining uh, steps are uh, just similar as uh, for the basic sharpless olefination reaction that the uh, prepared selenides are converted into selen oxides through oxidizing agents and then that selen oxide is uh, converted into alkene through a cyclic transition state the foremost uh, region of this reaction is uh, selenocyanate 
selenosanite is the compound of selenium selenium is the third member of group 6a after oxygen and sulfur and it possesses the similar properties like that of oxygen and sulfur uh, as they have two lone pairs and uh, they have nucleophilic character and they are divalent form two bonds and uh, also in some cases there are multiple bonds like uh, uh, we know about sulfur uh, selenocyanates are the divalent compounds of selenium with the cyano group at one side and aphenyl aryl or alkyl or r alkyl group on the other side i have mentioned uh, here only phenyl or aryl group because uh, the selenocyanates used in this reaction basically require the presence of phenyl or aryl group and uh, in addition to only phenyl group there should be an aryl group and also the phenyl group uh, having electron with drawing groups have very to uh, positive effect on the rate of the elimination that is formation of the alkene in the last step uh, so selenocyanates are used uh, with uh, uh, electron with drawing groups here is a question uh, what is the difference between cyanide and cyanate uh, this is a very simple question but uh, here it has some reason uh, therefore it has been put here that uh, cyanide mean C triple bond N with a negative charge cyanide ion cyanate is a cyano group attached with oxygen so name cyanate a similar uh, an isomeric species of this is isocyanate in which uh, negative charge is on nitrogen or attacking po attaching position with other atoms is through nitrogen and uh, other carbon and oxygen are bonded like this N double bond C double bond O. Cyanate, the word cyanate means cyano group is attached with oxygen. But here in the case of selenocyanate you do not see the presence of oxygen. Then why it is called cyanate the reason is this uh, that uh, selenium is the similar type of atom like that of oxygen so you can see uh, you can say that uh, in uh, selenium instead of selenium there is present oxygen and so we name that cyanate but uh, when it presents selenium so it is named as selenocyanate instead of only cyanate this is a similar thing as we may know uh, as we say OH group as uh, alcohol but SH group as thioalcohol alcohol but thioalcohol thio mean it is sulfur SH thioalcohol similarly if it is uh, SEH that will be named selenol or selenoalcohol ok so like this uh, uh, terminology the cyanate terminology is used for selene uh, this uh, compound so overall this compound is named as selenocyanate the second uh, starting uh, material or uh, the region used in this reaction is alkyl halides uh, the first region was uh, selenocyanate which were converted into selenide anion and then they are treated with alkyl to form selenides. The basic requirement for the alkyl uh, to be used in this reaction is uh, that they should bear beta hydrogen. Here you can see the structure the carbon which is directly attached to the halogen is called alpha carbon and the hydrogens attached to it are known as alpha hydrogens and then the carbon which uh, is directly attached to this alpha carbon is known as beta carbon and the hydrogens are known as beta hydrogen so this uh, beta carbon should be a beta hydrogen uh, for the olefination reaction if there is no beta hydrogen present then there will be no conversion into alkene that is there will be no products of uh, alkene and no reaction at all 
second if uh, uh, there is uh, too many uh, type of beta hydrogen atoms present in the molecule then there are chances for the alkene products to be more in the number here you can see the example first example is that in which uh, the beta carbon is directly attached to three uh, four four carbons overall and so this beta carbon does not bear any beta hydrogen it cannot undergo this reaction second uh, is uh, one uh, beta carbon is uh, attached to alpha carbon in the form of ch3 methyl and the other beta carbon is directly attached to alpha carbon and uh, which is further attached beta hydrogen beta carbon is further attached to two r groups so here you can see there are two types of beta hydrogen that is uh, there can be double bond uh, between carbon and methyl group and there can be double bond between carbon and the other beta hydrogen so if the alkyl adds uh, group has uh, more than one type of beta hydrogen then there will be more than one types of olefins the polyhalides are not recommended uh, for this reaction due to poor synthetic application poor synthetic application mean uh, organic synthesis uh, basically uh, requires uh, such uh, such uh, functional groups such functionalities which uh, take part in reaction too fast and uh, then they are uh, remove they have less number of uh, by products so that the main product is easily purified and separated from the reaction medium and second uh, the purification of the compound is uh, too uh, matters uh, too much if uh, they are, we use polyhalide then there is much controversy in the reaction with the uh, selenide anion and there will be a number of chances of the selenides uh, produced and uh, so different selenides will produce different number of alkenes and uh, this uh, there will be a mixture of the products and it will be too tough uh, for the researcher to purify each product from the mixture and this thing uh, uh, makes the uh, authenticity or you can say this thing make the practical application of a reaction too much low in the field of uh, practical field of medicine or uh, etc uh, last point in this regard we can discuss that uh, the order of the rate of reaction uh, regarding the different uh, halogens like iodo I alkyl iodides are more active than alkyl bromides and then chlorides and this thing can be explained through the bond energy of these uh, carbon halogen bonds that is carbon iodine bond has bond energy less as compared to that of uh, carbon bromine bond and which has uh, less as compared to carbon chlorine bond as carbon iodine bond has less bond energy so it will break easily and will take part in the reaction too much faster so the rate of reaction will be fast for alkyl iodide as compared to bromide or chlorides selenides uh, are the intermediates which are uh, produced uh, due to the reaction of uh, previously synthesized selenide anion and the alkyl halide selenides are uh, the divalent compounds of selenium and uh, this uh, these are sim just similar to that of oxygen and sulfur here you can see the oxygen directly attached to two carbon is known as oxide or ether similarly sulfur directly attached to two carbon is known as sulfide or thioether and on the similar basis silica selen selenium uh, directly attached to two carbon is known as selenide or seleno ether the uh, thus the ke chemical properties or chemical reactions of selenides are just similar to that of uh, sulfide or oxide here the selenium uh, around the selenium you can see they are attached to carbons uh, around it but in case of this reaction uh, which we are going to discuss uh, or from which we are uh, want to obtain an alkene one group which is attached to selenium should uh, be alkyl or r alkyl group which has come from alkyl halide 
and the other uh, uh, group attached to selenium may be phenyl group or aryl group which uh, has come from uh, selenocyanate uh, the different properties of selenide uh, are also here written the one property is that uh, some selenides are uh, too much reactive to oxidation and uh, they are easily oxidized by the air and this thing can be attributed to the high reducing power of the selenide selenides of uh, some electropositive metals like uh, aluminum selenide also are active and they readily hydrolyze uh, even in the moist air or moisture of the air and uh, so evolve uh, the hydrogen selenide uh, which is a toxic gas hydrogen selenide is just like uh, as we know hydrogen sulfide h2s gas uh, likewise h2se gas and it is toxic uh, so these selenides are uh, uh, convert uh, obtained by the reaction of uh, selenocyanides and uh, our starting point was uh, selenocyanate which is uh, converted into this selenide by the reaction of alkyl halide uh, the produced uh, selenides uh, in the this reaction are then oxidized to convert into selene oxide different oxidizing agents uh, have been used for this purpose for this conversion of selenide into selene oxide one of them is hydrogen peroxide which is uh, generally 30% uh, h2o2 uh, is used at 25 degrees c in tet tetrahydrofuran as a solvent and this uh, oxidation process takes uh, a time of 5 hours almost uh, it is the most common method uh, for the oxidation of uh, selenide to selene oxide and the solvent uh, which is uh, written over THF it can be DCM also DCM in dichloromethane uh, this oxidation uh, process uh, through H2O2 is chemo selective chemo selective means that uh, the our uh, starting material having other functionalities uh, also can be used be because this oxidizing agent selectively reacts with uh, the selenide uh, functionality and convert into selene oxide without interacting with the other functionality present in the molecules uh, like alkene, sulfides, amines, sulfoxides, uh, tertiary alcohols, esters, lactones. Lactone means cyclic carboxylic acid. Uh, ester, sorry, cyclic carboxylic esters in the form of a ring. Uh, nitriles and uh, carboxylic acids all of these functionalities remain uh, intact they are not uh, reacted with this uh, oxidizing agent and we uh, selectively uh, get the conversion of selenide into selene oxide uh, there is another problem with this uh, h2o2 that uh, there is a, a decomposition of this region by the selenium uh, which uh, itself acting as a reducing agent so overcome this thing uh, the h2o2 is used in excess uh, for the oxidation of the pectin uh, another thing the undesired oxidation of starting material has also been observed uh, for this h2o2 so overcome this uh, these difficulties uh, another uh, replacing chemical is tertiary butyl hydro peroxide which is a mild oxidizing agent as compared to this H2O2 and uh, so it is uh, can also be used in excess in replacement of H2O2 and uh, it does not uh, move towards the over oxidation side reactions uh, here is an uh, example uh, in which a sele uh, selenide which is actually attached to phenyl from one side and a uh, 5 membered ring on the other side is converted into selene oxide and which is uh, converted into alkene after elimination process another oxidizing agent uh, used for this purpose uh, is ozone when dcm uh, at a temperature of minus 78 degrees c is starting and then it is uh, moved to room temperature of 
that is 25 degree C and the time of reaction is 5 hours. Uh, this reaction is also uh, used to convert uh, uh, selenide into selen oxide, uh, but it uh, requires special conditions uh, for thermolysis or extreme uh, care of reaction. If there is required steam care of the reaction, then we use this reagent. It is also chemoselective and uh, selectively attack on uh, selenides and uh, convert them into selenoxides and uh, they it do not uh, interact with the alkenic or sulfide groups present in the molecule. Uh, this uh, route of uh, reaction is used for the preparation of uh, quinones from cyclic unsaturated carbonyl compounds. Uh, the side effect of this region is that uh, the produced serine oxide is also converted back to serenite and this uh, conversion is in a very high proportion that is a uh, very high percentage of the product is converted back into the selenite and this thing makes uh, the use of ozone too much uh, low here is the example in which you can see an alpha beta unsaturated ketone cyclic ketone uh, bearing uh, phenyl uh, selenite functionality is reacted with ozone uh, temperature minus uh, starting temperature and then it um, moved to 20 degrees C. Here the solvent used can be ether as we have discussed the DCM or ether. Uh, and we get the after getting the double bond the uh, obtained structure is the cyclic quinone like structure uh, the third oxidizing agent uh, uh, which can be used uh, for this conversion is meta chloroperoxy benzoic acid mcp B A. Uh, it is uh, recommended when the formed product uh, of uh, olefins is uh, sensitive to oxidation. That is, uh, it may be oxidized uh, further as a side reaction. Uh, so, in the, that case, MCPBA is used. It oxidizes uh, selenides at very low temperature of uh, minus 78 degrees C. And this is the temperature where the selenides are stable, that they are not easily decomposed into alkene. And thus the all the oxidant used is consumed uh, for the conversion of selenides into selenoxides before its elimination. These regions uh, are can also be used, this region can also be used uh, in the presence of double bond or triple bond or a minor group. It means it is uh, also a chemoselective uh, nature. Various selenoxides, especially vinylic selenoxides, have been used uh, by using this oxidizing agent. Uh, one thing uh, should be remembered when using this uh, oxidizing agent that buffering with an amine base is necessary uh, during this reaction uh, because uh, acid mediated side reactions can occur. So, the presence of base will uh, render these side reactions uh, ineffective. Uh, here you can see the reaction in which a selenite is uh, converted into a alkene, cyclic alkene double bond and here you can see the conditions uh, for this uh, reaction. Uh, the yield obtained is 57%. Uh, the fourth oxygen agent used for this purpose is oxazirid. These are actually three membered rings. Uh, oxaziridines are used as uh, N sulfonyl oxaziridines are 2 phenyl sulfonyl 3 para nitro phenyl oxaziridine. Uh, these have also improved yields uh, in comparison of the MCPBA and H2O2. Uh, this thing can be uh, attributed uh, because of the Mm, uh, uh, side reactions are uh, no side reactions are low number uh, amount of side reactions due to less side reactions these uh, oxy oxaziridines are uh, used uh, for quantitative 
uh, yields that we get uh, yields uh, in too much uh, considerable amounts and sulfonylureas oxidizes uh, this uh, selenide to selenium oxide in a protic solvents and at a temperature of 0 to 5 degrees c with the uh, good yields here you can see the structures of oxaziridine general structure in which uh, it is three membered ring one is oxygen second is nitrogen and third is carbon uh, the nomenclature of this thing can be explained as the oxa mean presence of oxygen or as az shows the presence of uh, nitrogen and iridine is used for the saturated three membered ring so what are this compound is named oxa ziridine the other structure is n sulfonyl oxaziridine in which sulfonyl group so is uh, attached to the nitrogen of uh, this oxaziridine and uh, third uh, uh, molecule is a two phenyl sulfonyl three para nitrophenyl oxaziridine which is substituted at uh, nitrogen and also at carbon Uh, the fifth uh, example or the last example which is discussed here uh, as an oxidizing agent is sodium per iodate uh, in the presence of uh, ethanol or uh, using ethanol as a solvent and a temperature of 25 degree C. Uh, this oxidant is uh, not used uh, too much uh, uh, in, but uh, is applied in many cases. Uh, the basic reason of its uh, less use uh, can be attributed to its uh, slow reaction. Secondly, a uh, number of selenides uh, have been prepared through this region including methyl phenyl, benzyl phenyl, phenyl vinyl, phenyl cyclopropyl, 2 azido cyclohexyl phenyl, selenoid. Uh, so all of these uh, selenides have been isolated by using this oxidizing agent. Here you can see the example in which uh, an aline is used for this uh, purpose of creation of double bond. Here you can see in first step uh, selenide was created and in the second step uh, by through oxidation of the sodium per iodate the double bond was created uh, at uh, alpha and beta position. The different solvents used for this reaction as uh, you seen that it uh, include pyridine, tetrahydrofinone, THF mostly and dichloromethane, DCM, uh, ethanol and uh, etc. Other regions uh, this, uh, solvents can also be applied of uh, these categories and mostly these are aprotic solvents. The last terminology uh, which is used in this uh, uh, reaction uh, is uh, selenoxide. The selenide produced from alkylides are converted into selenoxide through oxidation. Now some features of selenoxide uh, are discussed here that uh, like uh, sulfoxide elimination, these selenoxide also undergo elimination and uh, uh, these uh, the elimination through selenoxide is more rapidly as compared to that of sulfoxide elimination. The about the stability of uh, selenoxides, uh, we see that uh, they decompose to corresponding alkenes at the temperature between minus 50 and 40 degrees C. And this uh, decomposition uh, follows a cyclic uh, transition state and also an elimination step and this elimination is known to be syn elimination. Syn elimination means the leaving group and the beta hydrogen are on the same side of the molecule. Selenoxides uh, when are present uh, in adjacent to the carbonyl compounds then after uh, this elimination we get a uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound and these alpha beta unsaturated compounds are uh, more reactive uh, in many reactions and they have very useful uh, reactions in organic synthesis here you can see the reaction uh, in which a carbonyl, uh, cyclic carbonyl is treated with uh, 
some selenium compound and is converted into selenide. This step is not uh, similar to that which we are uh, our uh, reaction that is sharp plus solubility reaction does not include this step of formation of selenide. Uh, overall, uh, the, this formation of selenide is for then oxidized and uh, we get uh, the selenium oxide, selen uh, oxide, and this uh, selenium oxide uh, then uh, move towards the product side that is an alkene through a elimination after an elimination step. Along with this alkene, we get a uh, selenic uh, acid. Uh, this uh, phenyl SEOH, if silicon is directly attached to it, this compound is known as selenic acid. Here is the overall mechanism of this reaction uh, that uh, the first step is about the reaction of uh, selenocyanate uh, with uh, sodium borohydride as a reducing agent in ethanol or DMF. DMF mean dimethyl formamide and uh, to uh, it uh, this reaction produces the selenium oxide yes or selenium oxide yes uh, uh, you can say uh, selene selenide anion this selenide anion reacts with uh, then alkylates to produce selenides uh, which are simply divalent uh, selenium compounds with two carbons and uh, then this uh, selenide uh, is uh, oxidized in tetrahedrofuran to form selenoxide this selenoxide then uh, goes uh, through beta elimination reaction and uh, is converted into alkene and you can see here that this alkene is coming from the that part of selenoxide which uh, was inserted through alkyl halide uh, the elimination step involved in the last step uh, that is elimination from uh, selene oxide to form alkene is known as syn uh, elimination uh, here is some discussion about this uh, uh, elimination step uh, to compare the syn elimination and anti elimination here you can see first the syn elimination in which the base attacks the beta hydrogen on the same side as the leaving group and we get the alkene. In anti elimination the base attacks the beta hydrogen on the opposite side of the leaving group and we get the product of alkene. Uh, so basic difference between these uh, syn elimination and uh, anti elimination is the attack of a uh, base on the beta hydrogen and the position or configuration of the leaving group in the molecule. Here in case of selenium oxide as we uh, see that the oxide ion acting as a nucleophile which attacks on the beta hydrogen and uh, is converted into OH group. So this uh, thing can only happen if the hydro beta hydrogen and this selenium oxide are on the same position or same side of the molecule. So therefore this uh, elimination is known as syn elimination uh, of uh, reaction. Uh, so this is all about uh, today's lecture uh, of this uh, introduction about this uh, sharp plus olefination and uh, its modification which was I'll, uh, discussed earlier that is Greco uh, modification of sharpless olefination reaction. In the next lecture, uh, inshallah, we will discuss uh, about the different uh, steps involved in this reaction in detail, their mechanisms, and uh, then the mechanism of this uh, Greco modification. And uh, in the end, uh, there will be synthetic applications of this sharpless olefination reaction.